good evening friends this is Lokesh Sen on this site and today I am showing you the user experience of the oneplus 3 once you receive it from the any online store so now I am showing you the settings and the features of the oneplus 3 gen, uh, in general uh, way so first of all I want to show you that uh, in this uh, phone I am using the Nova launcher so this is looking quite attractive it has lots of animations and uh, the customizations and everything so drawer itself is very beautiful in fact if you want to wish put the your favorite apps on the screen then you can put them all here uh, in a bunch even you can also customize the icons like this is my social package this is my uh, banking package so I'll not show you this is the social package so you know that this phone has the extraordinary package in a very uh, it reasonable price in fact I should say that is a reasonable price this is a uh, optical AMOLED screen so look here the screen is itself very uh, vibrant in this one now I'll show you the settings uh, in this phone so first of all this is the drop down curtain in this case you see that there are lots of toggles given in this one this is the latest toggle we have after the 3.2.2 oxygen so once I purchased this phone at that time this NFC toggle was not there so you can click this NFC and this will on and this is off similarly this is the Wi-Fi toggle this is the Bluetooth toggle this one is the internet data toggle in fact if you click this one at one time then the data will start so you should have to close the Wi-Fi in that case and once you will click the Wi-Fi then the Wi-Fi will start and the uh, our mobile data will stop so if you keep it long press then in that case it will show you the consumption of the data and this depends on you that uh, what settings you have if you give here the settings then the date range and everything is here even the warnings that how much data you have used here these all are mentioned here then you have the portrait mode or the auto rated mode flashlight is here the aeroplane mode is here the night mode is here night once you, you click the night mode then in that one the screen will uh, become the yellowish and that will not strain your eyes this is the location toggle by which one if you long press this then the location options will open and in this one you can uh, choose whether you use the higher accuracy mode the battery saving mode or the device only mode generally I use here the battery saving mode and in general I put it off after this now let's move to the settings in this uh, phone now in the settings this is the first Wi-Fi I think that you all aware about this one the Bluetooth once you will click the Bluetooth then the scanning will start but once you will back then in that case this will stop sim cards you can customize this one cellular network you can customize data users I already have told you about that one in the more it is the aeroplane mode the NFC and once we will enable the NFC the Android beam will start and then we have the tethering and the portable hotspot the VPN and the emergency broadcast then we have the home button in the home button these are the launchers I am using here the NOAA launcher however I also use the oneplus launcher and the nexus launcher so I use NOAA launcher right now this is the display caption 
in the display caption I am using here the adaptive brightness option if you keep it off then here we have the option to increase or decrease the brightness so as right now I am using the adaptive brightness that's why I will again keep it on this is the color balance option so you can make the cool or the warmness of the uh, screen this is the night mode once you will enable this one the screen will be the yellowish and the eyes will not get strained in that case so again I am keeping it off because I do not like this mode mode now you have the wallpaper the settings of the sleep I use here the 30s after the 30 seconds of inactivity this phone will sleep then the daydream then they have the, this has the ambient display option in the ambient display option if you click on then once you will get the notification the screen will wake similarly if you on or off the proximity wake then proximity wake means once we will wake, uh, wave our hand up above the screen then the screen will on and that will notify or we can check what is the time on the screen these all things so again uh, I'm keeping them off because these all consumes little bit battery then font size the device is rotated these all options are here after this we are here at the sounds and notifications you have the media volume the uh, alarm volume the ring volume and vibration uh, options other sounds so the SMS or these all settings are here after this this is the alert slider you know that uh, this one plus three has the alert slider it has the three position the top position the middle position and the lower position in the lower position this is uh, at the normal mode means we can receive or we can hear the ringtones and the notifications in the middle position this is the priority settings or the priority mode so you can change accordingly the priority settings and similarly the uppermost or the topmost position is the silent settings so you again you can change them accordingly and this is for the alert slider after that we have the storage and USB you know that this phone comes with the 64 GB internal memory and we can use the 52.66 GB which is already mentioned here so I think I have used here the half of this memory so one more thing in this uh, storage and uh, th in this section if you want to use the uh, USB drive or the pen drive then I already have give the I already have given the uh, instructions for that one that is that has the separate uh, video in the YouTube you can see on my channel for that you will have to enable the OTG and the disable the OTG from this position so you should you should keep in your mind for this one after that this is the apps so what apps I have what are the settings of them you can see them all at this one place then users how many users are using this so accordingly you have or you can manage the settings for that this is the memory this has the 6 GB RAM and how much RAM is being used in which apps these all are here this is the battery in the battery which apps are consuming or the what operations are consuming the battery which will be mentioned here this is the battery logo by which you can choose that what kind of logo or the icon we will use here in the status bar then you have the customization in the customization we have the two modes the dark mode and the white mode if you use the white mode then this phone will become the white so I use the dark mode 
ascent colors these are the ascent colors i use the yellow so yes that's okay but if you wish to use the red then you can convert this into the red then LED notification, these are the different different LED notifications for the uh, different different types. But remember for the dash charger, the LED notification is always blue. This is the this is for the status bar. We have the option uh, in the status bar that which icon we should keep there or not. So for your choice, you can manage them. After the customization, now we are here the, these are the buttons now we have the on screen navigation bar so if you keep it on then you see the back button the home button and the recent apps button are here so i'll keep it off swap buttons by this one you can change the activity of the back button and the recent buttons backlight backlight button is for the backlight of the on back button or the recent button then these are the different different action actions of the home button back button and the recent button then you have the gestures for the gestures we have the four kind of gestures in this one double tap to back I am using it for the camera you should write the O on the screen so the camera will start for the V the flashlight will start and accordingly that will off after that location option is here in the location option look here we have the different different modes the battery saving mode the high accuracy mode and the device mode security and the fingerprint now here we have the screen lock pattern the automatic lock the power button instant lock okay uh, fingerprint options are here so uh, accordingly we will manage them the smart lock is here so sim lock and these all are here and again allow installation of from the unknown sources i am following that one so let's keep it off no problem then language and input the accounts in this one uh, you can put your Google accounts, Yahoo accounts and uh, Microsoft accounts. These are the Google settings. So in Google settings, uh, you can manage your settings. So that depends on you that how much you use the phone. This is the backup and reset. So here you have the uh, your account of the backing up the data date and time accessibility printing so you will see the system updates here so right now this is updated so no problem you have the developer options so in general you do not have the developer options so in that case you should do one thing you should click you go into the about phone and you will click here the build number seven times so once you will click the build number seven times then that developer option will come here and accordingly you can make here the your choices so i have one choice here that is the advanced reboot so in the advanced reboot if i press the power button then in that case once i give the reboot then this has the three options reboot recovery and bootloader this is the advanced option so let's uh, come out from this one usb debugging is here these all things are here the animation and so this depends on your choice again lots of options are here this is about the phone you know this is one a uh, one plus three and the model number is a three zero zero three the ram is 6 gb storage is 64 gb this is 6.0.1 marshmallow the security patch is of the first july so again in the 15 days in next update this will convert into the security patch level of the first august this is the 3.2.4 which is the recent updated version of the oxygen operating system 
बेस बैंड वर्जन कर्नल वर्जन बिल्डर नंबर दीज ऑल आर हियर लुक हियर दिस इज द मार्श मेलो सो लेट्स कम आउट now this is the system user interface so again this is for the customization or the boot beautification of the phone so this is all about the uses uh, in the new phone so that's why i give this uh, video for this so if you like this video please thumbs up and subscribe my channel time to time i'll give you the different informations thank you very much